Hey, welcome to our first lesson on HTML. You want to know how to make websites, right? You are in the perfect spot, because HTML is where it all starts. HTML is like the skeleton of any website. And guess what? We are going to learn it together, step by step. You might be wondering, what is HTML all about? It stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Cool to know, but that info alone isn't enough. First up, HTML is used for structuring web pages. Think of it as the blueprint of a building. And where can we see our HTML code in action? Right, in a web browser like Google Chrome. At its core, HTML is made up of elements. These are the building blocks, like paragraphs, images and links, that you can piece together to build something great. To sum it up, HTML structures your web pages, is viewable in a browser and consists of elements. All right, let's get started and have a look at some HTML code. Here you can see HTML code to the left and to the right you will see how the code looks when you open it in the browser. It shows a very simple web page with only two elements, a heading and a text paragraph. Now I'm going to show you how to download a code editor. I'm using IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, but it's a professional tool which costs some money. So I recommend you getting the community version, which is completely free. Another popular and powerful code editor is Visual Studio Code, which is also free to download and use. After you have downloaded your code editor, it's time to open it. First we want to create a file called index.html. The index.html file always serves as the home page of your website. The home page is the first page, which is shown when you open the website in the browser. Remember that every HTML file consists of elements? Now we will have a closer look at how elements work. Most elements consist of two tags, the opening and the closing tag. The element we have just created here is the so-called HTML element, which is the main element of every HTML page. Next, we're gonna have a look at the head element. The head element is used to define metadata of the page. For example, the title of the page. Let's set the title to my website. As you can see, just as the main element before, the title element has an opening and closing tag too. Let's open the HTML file in the browser now. We just get to see a blank page. That's because we haven't added any content elements to the page yet. But a very interesting thing we already can see is the website's title, which is shown in the browser tab above. Now we will learn the cool stuff and that's how to add content to our web pages. All of the content elements of a web page are defined within the body element. Let us create the body element just like the other elements before, with an opening and closing tag. Now it's time to add our first content element to our page. It's an h1 heading, which is the main heading of the page. You will learn more about HTML headings in a future video of this course. Now it's time to see our code in action and have a look at our newly created heading in the browser. A heading alone is boring, so we're gonna add a text paragraph so our heading isn't lonely anymore. You can create text paragraphs using the p element. When we open the browser again, we will see our heading and the text paragraph. The last thing we're gonna learn in this video are HTML attributes. Attributes are a way to customize HTML elements. For example, to define the target URL of a link. To create a link element with HTML, we use the A tag. Attributes are defined within the opening tag of elements. To define the target URL of this link, we use the href attribute. Let's point the link to Wikipedia. The text between the opening and closing tag is the label of the link which is shown on the page. Let's set the label to Wikipedia as well. We want to open the browser again and have a look at our link. Now, as you would expect, if we click the link, the browser navigates to Wikipedia. We have reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the series so far, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any content about learning to code.